welcome back to my channel today we have the crown of bones by a.k Wildler. so this was one of the books that i was really really interested by because i was really looking forward to book and the synopsis really sent chills down my spine and i was like oh my god hell yes i want this this was something that i did not expect to watch and watch to read it definitely has a lot of things in it Raise your phantom is definitely the statement that's inside the book as well. Oh my gosh, let's just say that. This is the front cover. Yes, we have the spine. Inside is just a black card back with a kind of gold kind of spine on here. And then on here says, in a world on the brink of the next great time, no amount of training can prepare us for what is, is to come. A young hare will raise the most powerful phantom in all bison. The dangerous high savage will do anything to control the mo uh, nine realms. A mysterious and deadly mar race will steal children into the sea. And a handsome guide with far too many secrets will make me fall in love. My name is Ash, a lowly scribe meant to observe and record, and yet I think I'm destined to suffice us all. So when I read that, I thought Ash is a um, Ash is a boy, you know. No, Ash is a girl. Then we have Marcus. Then we have uh, Kaylin, which you think, oh, that's a girl's name. No, that's a boy. Obviously, do not when you hear those names, don't like kind of judge it. I definitely judged it because I thought it was a boy and a girl, but no, it's the other way around. Kaylin is a boy and Ash is a girl. Those, um, th it goes through these threes, kind of, the owners of their stories, their perspectives, and then right at the last chapter, Master Bongo, Bongo, Bongo um, comes in and says it was not a dream, kind of thing, and I was like, oh, hello. Um, also, there is a second book coming out of this as well, which launched in November 2022, called Curse of the Shadows, and I'm looking forward to that book because it looks so flipping good. So, let's go through these tabs before we start going through it. So, tab number one. We have, of course, a map. This map is beautiful. You have the island of Aku, which that's what, they, that's what their target is, to find Aku. We have a lot of names that I can probably not pronounce, except from Whiteway. <laughs> The next page is about the Herald of the Robes. So you have the black robe, the red robe, the orange robe, the yellow robe, the green robe, the blue robe, the brown robe, and the non servant. And we'll go at the end of the book, which has a glossary. It's cool. I went to page. Oh no, I just lost it. On... I don't know where I lost the thing. But on this page on 23, it says, My biggest moment today, Ash, and you missed it. So there's definitely those kind of sides, and then this is the glossary. So all the words I couldn't understand, didn't know there was a glossary at the back, and I basically learned more of the words, um, of everything else. So you have the first glossal bones, which are a lot of them. Um, you've got all these. Then you've got the realms of Amasia. And Masia. <clears throat> then we've got the sevens that tells you about what the, each rope means, which is very, very interesting. And then a little chapter from Crave. But this book was definitely a surprising. Don't judge the book by its cover, guys. But I didn't because I really like the cover. So, Crown of Books is definitely a fancy book you are not going to want to miss. It's by, one, by far one of my favourite books. This book definitely surprised me. I did not expect it. <clears throat> Each chapter was like, oh my god, what the hell's going on between these guys? Um, the story is a beyond brilliant, brilliant. The seven of Marcus are able to raise a beast. A phantom. Nine servants could not raise a, a phantom. Marcus is Ash's best friend, a servant, but once in the struggle to control his phantom. A phantom. I'm confused now. I just swear that she was confused. Anywho. So, yes, Marcus is the main character, and the most interesting main character in Wet Dream is Ash. She's a non seven, but something 
I didn't quite see that well with her. She is a thrilling character, I just need to know more about her boss contains several secrets that Celia brought to life and that only works with that thick and thick plot. Ash is easily one of those characters I could not get enough of and one I could easily relate to. But if I'm being honest, though I loved Ash, I was good for every single chapter that contained the charming and mysterious Celia Collins. There's so mysterious in the point that I'm not even a reader know if his heart brings evil impacts and even so saved I did most people the most trailer into the book. I still rooted for him. Kaylin brought brings a new perspective to the group that sheds lights on the certain aspects of the magical world. And that might makes Ash question so many things. He pushes his way into this close knit group of friends, but as a reader I did not mind that one bit. Um I it's the type of uh, world building I always look forward to and the author did that with an absolute exception of bringing this world to life. Overall, this book is a top fantasy book for me that I will continuously recommend to every reader I can. I am closely waiting for the sequel. I really want to know what happens. Especially after that deliciously one of the cliffhanger. Crown this book is obviously out now. It's out like in February. Um, if you love fantasy books with this beautiful characters and unique storyline, I literally get go, go and read Color by Inspiration. It was so good and I enjoyed it so, so much. Did not expect the book to be like that, but it was definitely a book you could all read. Such a good book to read and I can't wait for the second book to come out because I just want to find out what the hell just happened next. Trust me, you want to know what will happen next. Hey, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time for the next book. Peace. Bye.